Hello, this is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria, and this is a sadly much needed update video because, as the Thunderbirds would say, I have a situation. Hmm. <laughs> that, yes, this is primarily about uh, the Ninjago reaction videos because, yes, I have seen most of Ninjago. I've seen it from season one up to season through season nine. Uh, I have not seen ten onward. Because, mm, it's like, I did say this in the pilot and the very first episode, but I can understand how people, you know, may have watched and following episode and may not have known that, oh, I um, have actually seen the series before. And if I, I'm not trying to deliberately mislead people, and I'm, I'm so sorry, fans. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, the situation is, uh, shall we say, difficult, I guess. Because, yes, I, because I guess what I could do is if, if people want me to is to say it in every single episode, but frankly, I'd be kind of annoyed by it, and I think the regular fans and everybody at some point would be annoyed with, oh, I've seen this before, I've seen this before, I've seen this before in every single episode, so, uh, but if people want me to say that I've seen it in every single episode, I will, um... If people want me to, I'll remove the word reaction from the title and the tags and all that stuff. <sighs> so, yeah. I mean, it is technically a reaction video. It's just not a blind reaction video. But, you know, I will never label a, a video as a blind reaction unless it is a blind reaction. <sighs> but I am a believer of unblind reaction videos because, well... So the problem with doing blind videos is that they're blind and you're not really sure of what's going to happen. You don't know, oh, could I say something here or not? Or am I going to talk over something? But when you uh, actually have a little bit of idea of what's going to happen, you can be a little bit more aggressive and you, you know you know that you're not going to miss stuff. But anyway, but yeah, but anyway, any grace, I'm so sorry, fans, if I misled you. I wasn't really trying to mislead you, so, hmm. <sighs> dear, oh dear, so yes. <sighs> so, so hopefully that might help that situation, but if not, then we shall see. Oh dear, oh dear. But anyway, uh, so now on to Legends of Chima, because <laughs> there are people out there who want me to react to the rest of Legends of Chima. Oh, well, <laughs> my first thoughts are <laughs> that, unfortunately, making these videos takes time, and I really don't want to react to two series at the same time. Oh, it's like making these videos consumes most of my Saturday is the short answer. But now that the show is offline, I could attempt to record these videos in a slightly different way. Because obviously when MLP was on and, you know, I was reacting to the show, quote unquote, live on Saturday, that there was little choice but to record it on Saturday and essentially do everything on Saturday. But now that I'm basically not doing that, that uh, we could do something else and, you know, try and... You know, record, you know, the episode sometime during the week, edit, render, sometime during Saturday or something. Although, unfortunately, I realized there was a slight hitch of my plan, because let's just say I am working from home now, so uh, my usual area is a little bit more, shall we say, busy than it normally is, so I would have to disassemble all that and then put it back together again, so... Mm, it wouldn't be so bad, but yeah, so, but I... I think we'll have a go at seeing, you know, if I could try to do, you know, maybe Legends of Chima and Ninjago at the same time. I don't think people would be too happy if I reacted to Ninjago and then Legends of Chima, then Ninjago, Legends of Chima. <laughs> I don't know, but, uh, hmm. It's also, it's like once I start down, <laughs> it's unfortunately reminds me of that line from Yoda, it's like once you start down the dark path, forever it will dominate your destiny. <laughs> But in this case, it's more like once you start watching a series, you have to finish it. You can't just stop. I mean, that's also also sort of a sub point. The re you know, definitely gonna react to the Ninjago seasons one through two because clearly the show was originally intended as two se two seasons, and I really like those. The following seasons, um, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, because, uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like once I start one season after, once I start after season two, I have to continue onward and essentially finish all of them. 
Ugh. And yes, it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while before the next generation of MOP comes back online. But there's no way that I could react to all of those seasons by the time the show comes back. I mean, I'd have to react to multiple episodes a week, and I definitely don't want to do that. So. <laughs> So, yeah, so I'm not so sure about what I'm going to do once I reach the end of season two, but, you know, that's going to be a couple months from now, so we shall, we shall see. <sighs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. So, so, uh, oh yeah, it's like, oh yeah, one th more thing about the Ninjago videos, it's like, you know, I know that most people have already seen it, including myself, but please, no spoilers! I hate spoilers, even the things I've already seen already, so... It's like, don't, it's like, please don't spoil for the fans who haven't yet seen the series yet. But anyway, so yeah, so I think that's it. And as always, uh, thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And until next time, this is Blue Star. Stay strong and pony on. Blue Star out.